To the east of Budapest, the capital city of Hungary, lies the fertile agricultural region of the Great Plain. In it, a village, Foldish. Crippled by a failed system of communism, the people of Foldish now struggle with the realities of an economically depressed region. Since 1998, the Church of the Nazarene has been establishing itself here. Having no church building, a small congregation of 16 members has taken seriously the challenge of giving generously to others when they themselves are in such need. When uh, we first established our churches, we thought that we do not want to burden them with everything Nazarenes do. We will introduce them step by step to the Nazarene world. But they kept hearing certain phrases and certain things from us, like alabaster, and Easter offering, and some other things. So they jumped on the idea and said, what's alabaster? So we explained uh, briefly, what is this? And uh, they said, oh, that's great. We want to do that. If Nazarenes are doing all over the world these things, we are Nazarenes, we would like to do that. So they started uh, collecting uh, alabaster offering. The Ferdash Church was glad to participate in alabaster offering. We heard that alabaster offerings are for building churches. We know what it is like to be a congregation without a building because we don't have one. So we want to give what we can to help congregations to build their churches. And maybe one day we can build ours. I was left alone, and there was a void in my heart after my husband died, and my church was without a place to worship. My desire is to help a lot of people come to know the Lord, so I opened my house for my church. That gracious desire to see many come to know the Lord, and that longing for a place to invite the community into a church building they want to enter has marked the work of the Church of the Nazarene in Hungary since that day. In January 99, they did their first alabaster offering. And when the table was brought in by two of the trustees of, of the church board and placed in the middle of the congregation, and then they gathered around that table as the congregation continued in the worship service and started pouring the money out onto the table and then counting it and stacking it, everyone's attention was drawn to this table and to this activity. And the enthusiasm with which it was counted and the excitement on the faces of those who were counting um, kept bringing us back to the thought, this is, this is no small thing that this little congregation is doing here. The Fordish congregation raised the, the thousand US dollar. Today, every Nazarene church in Hungary has been built, at least in part, by alabaster funds. First, the church in Fordish, then Hoidu Haz, then Debrecen, then Kishvarda, and finally Budapest. Each stands as a living testament to faithfulness, and alabaster giving is now more than a tradition. It is embedded in the rhythm of nurturing a spirit of missions in each local church. No amount is too small to achieve great things for God when it is given out of a grateful heart, a sacrifice of praise that impacts others for Him. Thank you for giving through alabaster.